artist songs what presets are tracks, which is to say that a template is a model that you can use in order to set up, prepare, and preset your entire song. Wanna learn more? Let's dive in. What is up, Yoshis? My name is Beth and I run Steadfast Ascent. And last week, I actually tried something new and I created a logic template that I wanted to give everyone. Every time I start a new song, I use a template. And there's three reasons that I do that. First of all, it kicks blank page syndrome out the window. There's no blank page. You already have tracks and they're already ready to go. It also helps provide direction for my song because if I choose my punk rock template, I know that I'm looking to try and write something a little generic. And if I open my lo-fi template, I know I'm going for something a little generic. And so with that already there, I'm ready to start rocking and I'm ready to start rolling with my recording. And finally, I always use a template because it diminishes the mixing choices I have to make at the beginning. Like, I already sound pretty good because I've got my template, I've got my presets all loaded in, and so I am just ready to make sounds, and then the specific mixes that I will do will depend more on the song than they will depend on the genre I know I'm writing in. And I do this because I found that every time I was opening up a new project, I was adding the same presets to every single song. I'd have my four drum tracks, I'd have my bass track, I'd have probably usually four guitar tracks, and I'd have vocal tracks. Now granted, it's not hard to just add those in if you know exactly what you're looking for, but at the same time, because I use the same thing every time, it's so much easier to just load up a template and have everything ready to go. Those minutes that I save are turned into hours over the dozens and hundreds of songs that I have written off of my templates. To make a template, you just select all of those instruments or all of the presets that you normally use once, and then you're ready to load up and go every single time you sit down to record. So today, I'll make a new template for my uh, punk music. Feel free to pause the video and follow along as we go along here so that you can have your own template too. So when I'm making a template, I'll usually load a new project. You can make templates out of old projects, but any information of the project that you save into the template will be in that template forever. So I have before uh, saved lyrics into my template. I have before saved literal like sections of music into my template. And that's not what you want. So I just load up a new project. I start it empty because I know exactly what I'm going to be adding. Today I'm going to add four software tracks and then I'm going to assign my drums to those and then I'm gonna add a bass track and I just throw simple things on that. I'll have two rhythm guitar tracks and I'll pre-pen those because I pen them anyways and so that's one thing I can do now that I don't have to repeat over and over and over again. Those minutes do add up after all. And then once I have my rhythm guitars, I'll probably add two more lead guitars and then on the bottom, I'll add my two vocal tracks. Now, I've been using a lot of game vocals lately, so I'm kind of tempted to add a track stack for those, but since that's not for every single song, I'll just stick with my typical two vocal tracks and just duplicate those as I need. Pause real quick. If you're enjoying this video or find that it's being super helpful, it helps me out actually if you leave it a like and consider subscribing for more content like this. Now, you just go up into the top, you press file, save as template, you name your template based on something that you're gonna want, and boom, you're done. You've got a template that you can use and reuse and reuse and reuse, and that was easy, wasn't it? So if you're still following along, you can see what folder this is saving to. So if you download one of my templates or another template on the internet, all you have to do is take that file and load it into here. And next time you start up Logic, you should be able to access any imported templates. If that doesn't happen, just go ahead and open up the template from inside the folder. And then the next time you load up, it should be completely accessible. If you haven't watched the previous video and downloaded the template, go ahead and give it a shot and let us know if you do make anything. So that is it. Templates are super simple, they're wonderful to use, and they're so helpful for making lots of music at a time. Having a template doesn't mean that you're not gonna have to do any mixing, but what it does mean is that if you already have favorites, you can just preload those and be ready to rock and roll with sounds that you like. So if you know of any good templates, let us know. If you made it this far, I just wanna thank you so very much for watching. <laughs>